Now, we'll cover some of the game modes. Like I said, these aren't in what's to, you know, what's actually important to least important. This is none of that. Fate. Now, first thing I want to discuss at the park is game modes. Now, I see that, you know, 2K is having a very hard time, as, they, as they've always been, with implementing a game mode that's fun. It seems like every year we're trying something new, and they just can't get it right. Now, first of all, the game of 21 that's at the park, the foul shots need to go. I <laughs> Get the fuck. They need to go. There's no reason for the foul shots to be there. I mean, even if you got a 75 foul shot rating, you can pretty much hit these free throws. At some point, it's almost like two free points just for the sake of it. Then you have that one moment, you know, on that one time you're trying to score to really have loose fun in the game. I and mean, what I mean by that is, you know, it's pretty much situations where, and what? You know, there can be a two-on-one situation for every single play. You make it, you take it. That's what 21 should be. Make it, take it. You constantly got two people guarding you or, how, or however it is that they want to play the defense. But to me, it just makes the game so much better. I want actual competition in 21, not these two free throws. So to me personally, the free throws do not need to be there. Now, these other two game modes that I'm going to talk about are going to be uh, not new in terms of they are not in the game, but, uh, you know, new just in terms of, you know, them being implemented to the park. And what I'm talking about is a three-point shootout and a dunk contest. I know. If they come to the park, people will probably, you know, be on it so much. Yada, yada, yada. You can't run a regular game. Just not true because if 2K does what it needs to do, there will be plenty of other reasons and fun things, you know, to run a new game that floated up. Now, for the three, I'm talking about don't change anything from career. You can leave it exactly the same way, but just give me, ah, whatever, you get it back. But, you know, just give them, just give us the ability to go against each other. I mean, as it stands now, it's, it, it's a fun mode or a fun thing to play, but you only enjoy it in career. And that's if you get it. I can't speak for everybody else, but I don't play career on easy. There's just no point in me paying 60 bucks for a game for me to just, you know, play, you know, for, you know, for me to play through on easy. Now, leave it exactly as it is and just let us do it at the park. Make it for significantly, well, not significantly, maybe half of whatever, you know, the reps are as it pertains to the grade. I don't know how you figure that out, but definitely it should be at the park hands down it makes no sense why it's not at the park it needs to be there now moving on my next topic hold on let's open this phone back up i'm gonna go over animations now one of the things that i have a problem with as far as animations is Hustle, right? Now, we're strictly talking about the guys like me who actually play defense. So, if you just one of those, you know, I'm a shoot and I'm a cheese dribble guys, then this ain't really for you at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, go play 2K15 or something. Now, if you're like me and you actually play defense and you actually want it to feel like somewhat of a simulation basketball game, we need a lot more animations for diving out of bounds. They need to be situational as it pertains to how high the ball went out of bounds, which way it went, yada, yada, yada. Because there are moments where your guy dives on the ground for this ball for no reason. You just wouldn't do that in the actual game. The ball is there, but I'm going to jump on the floor to try to catch it. That's just not, it's just not realistic. It's not, you know, and it sucks because... The guys that I play with, we actually hustle for the ball. We don't give up on the play. And there are moments where you can make some amazing shit happen because you actually hustle. Now, the signature moves moving from career to park. And what I mean by this, I, I, I've heard nobody speak of it. But then again, when I look at other YouTube videos and stuff like that, it, it seems like more fan service than actually talking about a lot of the real existing problems in 2K. 
Now, we have over a hundred something signature crossover things to use while we're in career. But none of them apply to the actual park. We can only use park crossovers. That should be a choice. Why? Because at the same time, I can use career dunks. I don't just have to use park dunks, right? I can use either or, or I can mix them up and, you know, whatever happens, happens. So, there needs to be, a, there, there has to be a way, and I'm pretty sure they can implement that now. Unlock all of those 120, you know, crossovers. Did not the side to side signature moves, just the straight up ones. I'll show you for those who know what I'm talking about. You know, you hold R2, I'm on a PS4, you hold R2, you tap to stick forward. These moves. That's all. There, there are like 120 of them, yet you cannot use them for the park. And I only found this out recently. One day I was just sitting here and I just was like, you know, why am I using a whole bunch of park uh, signature moves? Damn. Why am I using a whole bunch of park signature moves when I can just use a lot of these NBA ones and I can switch up my game? No. That's all. You just can't do that. So that really needs to be fixed because it makes absolutely no sense. We're going to spend the majority of our time playing, you know, playing multiplayer, at least most of us. They're supposed to give me that. Now, I guess if you're my team player and that's your thing and spinning VC on cards for guys that are already in the game, that's your, that's your choice. And I'm not knocking you, and one. But for somebody like me who I don't care for my team at all, I don't care for the concept of spinning VC for characters that are already in the game just to make up my own team and play online, it makes no sense. To me, my team is a blatant ripoff of, you know, how they um, get people for VC on the regular. I could understand paying VC to go your my player character right quick. No, you didn't. <laughs> I could understand that, but... doing it for my team for characters that are already in the game no makes no sense now damn give me the jumper anyway so for things like that we 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 uh, definitely have to do a whole lot with 2k but but the animations things really really bothered me and so did the the uh, crossover factor because with 120 some at our disposal man like you can actually play people with you know somewhat of a different variation to their game instead of sometimes you know it get a bit dull seeing a lot of the same tactics but uh whatever you know 2k is still a fun game now Another thing that I wanted to get to before I get to the topic that I really wanted to get to bad. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of cheesing them. I just really want to shoot. Practicing some shots. But, uh, yeah. Another fun topic for me is female models. And what I mean by models, not models, not, you know, real life. No, we're not talking about models. No, no, no. No, come on, dude. Go. Why are you talking back and down still? Not those. But, uh, you know, models for the actual game. Now, I know people say, well, how does that work? I don't want them to make a whole my career with the females and stuff like that. But at the same time, man, you got a lot of females out there that ball. I'm not talking about 2K female ballers. I'm talking about females that can actually go out to the park and give some of you dudes buckets. You understand? So at the end of the day, man, listen, there wouldn't be no WNBA if chicks didn't ball, right? So they out there now do they game i don't know but there is a community for female ball players and i would like to see them represented in the game yes you're gonna have a lot of guys that make female players like i understand that but, but whatever but still i would like to see how many you know chicks actually play 2k oh god i'm at that one half the guys there you go well off the metal now i would love to see that like i said i don't Maybe it's just an option, you know what I'm saying? Maybe there's just an option that, that if you want to make a female my player right quick, you can, you know, go on ahead and do that or... Yes, and they should be able to dunk. Honestly, a lot of the females in WNBA, the shorter chicks, man, like, they got some nasty handles. 
period. Like I said, they will give a lot of you dudes buckets. Now, would love to see that represented. I believe they should be able to dunk in the whole nine yards, you know, because it'll make it way more embarrassing if you, uh, you know, to see a female just jam on a man with, like, no regard, you know what I'm saying? Just straight up chestnuts. Uh, yeah, now, getting back to what I, re this is the topic that I really did, and I probably should have devoted a whole video to it. But, that's a good, no, oh, damn, Joe. Probably should have devoted a whole video title to it, but a proper, proper leveling system. What do I mean? Oh! Put that old school shit on me. Damn. Yeah, but a proper leveling system, man. As it stands now at the park, it honestly does not feel like the shit that we're grinding for is actually worth it. I mean, bro, a skateboard, a fucking skateboard, a tight, like, all that shit is stupid to me. It serves no purpose as a baller. I don't care about it. Look, I'm at Legend, right? And, yeah, I would have made Legend, but being at All-Star 5, yeah, that shit helped me. I know, well, I'm a Legend 3, I'm a Legend. I don't play 2K too much. I mean, I play a lot, obviously, because I'm a Legend, but I'm not deep into it where I got, like, 10,000 games played already. Now, it just makes no sense. It's corny as fuck. It is. I need a leveling system that's going to make me feel like, you know what, Legend 5 is worth it. I'm talking about exclusive gear, exclusive crossovers, and I mean plenty of them. I mean, when you look in the accolade section, right? If you're ever in the accolade section, it's any options menu. Well, yeah, it's any options menu when you're at the park. You can look at your accolades, and all it gives you is, like, very low amounts of V. Ooh! ooh. Well timed. Well played, sir. Now... All it gives you is about 50 to 100 VC for most of these, like, very low amounts of VC for doing, you know, crazy things within a, you know, a 21-point game. Now, why not give us exclusive things, certain types of headbands, um, certain, you know, color materials to use for sneakers, certain types of sneakers that you can only get for certain stuff. Imagine uh, prizes, you know, a certain prize that, that you want to get, a dope-ass shoe. You know, uh, some Galaxy Air Force, you know, just, you know, some shit. Uh, imagine, you know, you're, you know, like you have to get 10 assists at the park. These are things we're going in and grinding for, and they got so many things on their list. The prizes are just shitty as fuck. And like I said, oh, wow, at Legend, I, I, you know, I get this one dunk package and I can take off my shirt. Who gives a fuck? The leveling system is dog shit. There is nothing really worth grinding for. So when I hear people and see people saying, oh, I'm a legend in this, I'm a legend in that. Dude, what is it really worth? 